Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about snippets in UiPath. In this video, you will learn how to create snippets, how to use snippets, how to use snippet in your project, how to share snippet with your team members, with the other developers, how to import snippets, how to create custom snippets, how to remove the snippets, so all these things you are going to learn in this video. So let's start how to work with snippets. So first I'm going to show you from where we can find those snippets. So left side you can see here we have this project. And now once you click on the snippets. So this is the snippets panel and in this one you can find all the snippets available. Now what is the snippets? Snippets are small blocks of reusable activities that can be used in a project. So this is a reusable components. Snippets panel enables you to easily reuse automations. By default, it includes multiple samples and snippets. So by default, we have two folders, snippets and samples. Here you can add your own folders also. I'm going to show you how to use this snippets in your project. So let's say this is my project and from this snippets, you can see here we have lots of snippets available. In the samples, we have counter example, filter collection using link queue, filter data table using link queue. In the text, we have calculator automation, ping monitor. In the snippets, we have delay, and in the delay, we have 1 second of delay, 10 seconds of delay, 100 milliseconds, 3 seconds, 300 milliseconds, like that. In the loops, we have for each child, for each process, for each token, for each counter, for each file. So these are ready to use. So these are reusable components. We just need to drag and drop as per your use. So if any, anywhere, if you want a delay, if you want to put some delay like one second or three second delay. So instead of going to activity, take a delay, put that, that seconds or minutes, you can directly go to this snippets panel go to the snippets and delay, you can take your required snippets. So you can see here automatically it will be applied to your project. So we have delay three seconds and you can see here. If you are going to take files from folders, so you require to get the files from folder and then loop through each files. So if that is your requirement, you can go through this one, this you can use the snippets that is for each file in folders. You can see, so it will select the folder, files will be selected from that specific folder and you can see here. So this can be modified. You can see here, we have select folder, but you don't want to select. So what you can do, you can remove this part and here you can take your own variable and then you can remove right line and whatever like log message or anything you want to do, you can add here. If you will directly double click on this, so it will open as a different workflow here, but that will be in the read only. So this is in the read only, so you will not able to delete, but if you just drag and drop here, then you will able to modify here. Now I am going to show you how to create your own snippets. So these are the ready made, these are the ready made snippets but how can you create your own custom snippets let me uh, create one workflow we have this workflow and that is sequence now give give the name that is sap call t code so let's say this snippets i'm going to create to call a transaction code in sap so we'll create this now in this one i'm going to take one sap call transaction so it will call a T code, call transaction code and here we can enter any T code as per your process. So this is the code, this is the activity I have used. Now if you want to save this as a snippets, so how can you do that? So you just need to save that. So I am not saying that only one activity but are a set of activities that is called snippets. So this one I have just taken as an example. Now let me go to this project, go to this folder. Now copy this T code XML file. 
copy this now go to this snippets right click here and click on open and here you can just paste your XML file so that is SAP T code now go to this snippets refresh that and now you can see here under this sample folders we have this SAP T code available now let me close this one and now if I want to use that specific workflow so I can directly take it from here and drag and drop so this is ready to use right anywhere if I want to you I want to call this T code I can just take it from here I can just reuse multiple time now I'm going to show you how to share this snippets your custom snippets with the team members so first this is the snippets so first you have to locate your snippets xml file so this is xml file so where this is available how can you take this one so you know you will not able to copy you will not able to share from here so for that first you have to right click on this main root folder click on open and this is the location that is local program ui path studio snippets and then v, uh, visual basic and then c sharp so based on your project you will get that now we have samples so inside that i have this xml file so what you can do if you want to share any of these like calculator automation ping or any other also so you just need to copy that one and you can paste anywhere or you can share that with your uh, developer with other team members using teams or with any other medium now how can we import snippets so let's say we already have list of xml file available in one folder that is called sap folder and in the sap folder we have four to five xml file that is just to use in sap so to import that you need to click on add folder and then it will ask you to select that specific folder so let's say this is the folder so click on select and now you can see here this is the ui path examples and inside that we have two xml file so you can import that and you can reuse that i can use this sap here here i will not able to use main because this is already in huge so by this way you can import and you can use those xml file now how can you delete the folders from snippets so this is the custom folder that you created and these are the folder that is created by ui path that is coming with this ui path studio so this is your custom so if you want to delete that you can remove that you can right click here and click on remove right so now this is removed from here now if you want to delete this sap decode that you have kept in this sample folders so from here you will not able to remove because this is inside the sample folders and snippets for folder which is coming directly with the ui path studio so if you want to delete any of these so you have to right click on this sample folders click on open and now you can just delete from here right now you can go back to this studio and you can refresh now this has been deleted now if you want to delete let's say i want to delete this snippets orchestrator i want to delete the last one currently we have 12 and i want to delete wait for some form task completion i deleted this one now i'm going to refresh that so this has been deleted wait for some task completion is not there right so this has been deleted so you can delete any of these and i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course I will also put the link in, in my video description. You can go through that there. Thank you.